I hope you getting value out of this video series. Um, please comment, let me know your questions. You can email me, you can call me. If you need trainings, let me know. I'm here to help, right? So I realize that many people online, they're teaching some, you know, I would say bullshit. Um, it's uh, the people left off with, they spend um, their money uh, in and they left off with information and you know people calling me Kamal I took like thousand I spent thousands of dollars on this training and I'm sitting with nothing right it's just just kind of you know I'm pissed off to uh, be honest with you so take this information and implement there's a free training learn implement and make money okay so in order to become a truck dispatcher you know about 60% now you know about the industry go back watch videos you know, excuse my English, no problem. English is my second language. Um, just, you know, I'm trying to help you. I've been there, I know, I did myself. It's, it's hard, but, you know, just bear with me. You'll be fine. You'll learn, you'll make some money if you implement uh, what, what I say, and then you'll be in good shape. So, truck dispatcher, you need information. You need information about a skill. Any skill that you learn, or you would like to learn um, what you do you get informed right you get information about it um, and then you want to know about the tools uh, what people use you know what, what type of tools and if do I need any equipment um, and then of course when you get informed it's like a theory and then practice right theory you get the theory uh, uh, right now I'm giving you the theory of course a little bit of uh, uh, practice you need information about okay where to start what how i did let me give you an example um myself what i did i had like zero zero knowledge i have no idea i talked to my friends and i said okay is there any tracking companies uh you know around us that i can go ahead and you know start working with them and then i realized that one of my buddies started um uh, the car hauling business. Car hauling business, for those who don't know about the car hauling business, the people who uh, transport cars. You, you've seen them, you know, if you, if you, if you drive, you've, you've seen them out there. They're like a big trucks, you know, hauling many, many uh, trucks on the trailer. And I called my uh, buddy and I said, hey, I would like to, you know, learn about dispatching. I said, hey, welcome, you know, come on Monday and let's get the ball rolling. And I come in and said, hey, come on, listen, the first thing first, you don't have to worry about like, okay, the terms and, um, well, I would say just simply focus on load board, right? Load board is about like 90% of a time, right? It's, it's, it takes huge amount of time. So load board is basically, it's a platform where all those shippers and brokers post load. The job is there. You just need to log in to the platform and of course call the broker their, their their numbers their company names and everything log in and call them and say hey i'm interested in picking up you know this load going to the point from a from point a to point b and would you mind you know like negotiating with, let's say you negotiated you have the load you assign uh, to your carrier and then carrier goes and picks up and then delivers you know and he said that okay come on we have to focus on load words he said okay you you can log in like this and he, he this is what it means uh, you know this is how you can post this is how I mean post trucks how you can post your trucks how you can search for loads he taught me about how to uh, build a lane that w works best for me he talked about try haul uh, try haul is, is something like this. So if you are in Atlanta, Georgia, um, going to, let's say, uh, in California, you are in Georgia, right? So if this lane, this lane pays you, let's say $7,000, right? And you said, okay, I want to make more money. Then what it, what try haul says is that, okay, so go to, let's say Houston, Texas, right? Houston, Texas, uh, go Houston, Texas, 
take a load from Houston, I mean, Atlanta, Georgia, deliver to Houston, Texas, pick up a load from Houston, Texas, and go to the California, you will make about, like, let's say, uh, 8,200, right? So you're making some profit. This is a tri hall. So he taught me about how I can, you know, build my tri hauls. Uh, there's like inbound, and then there's outbound. There's the states that, you know, takes more loads in, but you know, not many goes out, so your truck is not gonna sit for uh, for a week to waiting for a load. You need to learn a load worth. Again, there's a free training. Uh, the link is below. Just you know, go ahead and uh, sign up and uh, learn about this. So the tools tools are basically uh, once the load is assigned it's like a managing software you input all the information and then you see where your trucks are uh, what are the loads you picked up uh, are they dispatched are they on the route right now or delivered completed that tools you know helps uh, to manage your day-to-day -day, uh, you know life in in a dispatching business one of the tools that i have uh, and i uh, Give example and talk about more specifically in this uh, you know talking about this tool in my free training that I have and once I learn the load board basically I'm done right so along the way when you're learning load board and then of course there's terms comes up like broker broker carrier I mean broker and carrier agreement or carrier packages and in the, and then you ask said hey what is this carrier package or carrier package is broker and carrier agreement right uh, I share their example you can log in and see or you can search online you can see uh, broker carrier agreement right so you learned the load board like, load board is 90% if you master the load board no problem you're good to go of course you need to know them some you know tactics uh, how to build tri hall what are those you know best paying loads right once you become a truck dispatcher you're pretty much you know good to go you can work from home if you have a laptop access to the internet you can work from anywhere log in to your computer access uh, get access to load boards and then you know you have your cell phone that's all Right, and you know, I'm doing myself, and I'm sometimes I'm in the office, and sometimes if I have you know meetings, business meetings, I'm outside. I do, uh, you know, monitor uh, what are my dispatchers do in that particular day, and I help them. If there's like load pops up, and then I just call broker, negotiate, and then dispatch uh, to the to my trucks. And I would like to specifically talk about. Um, the truck dispatcher uh, service business because all of my trainings about truck dispatcher training I mean truck dispatcher uh, business let's go into the business right and we can call our uh, you know business name uh, we can say Mike Mike uh, Mike's dispatch dispatch uh, services right uh, services services so let's say uh, Mike's dispatch uh, services let's call LLC it's a limited liability company okay we we have a company now what do you do so you know how to dispatch so first you are working from home right and your uh, ultimate goal is to go to bigger office right? bigger office with uh, I would say a couple of dispatchers right a couple of dispatchers just bear with me it will be much clearer so you are here right you 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 are managing so here's the uh, dispatcher one dispatcher two dispatcher three and then we'll talk about dispatcher number four and number five and and, and this th there's a reason the goal is this so you are here uh, let's say um, in your uh, apartment or in your home in one room you have a computer you have a printer you have access to internet you're working and you have one owner operator right what, what, what the carrier that gives you the one trucks to or two trucks to um, dispatch numbers are important so I'm giving you the numbers right so numbers are really important so one truck in average gross makes 2500 Okay, so I will let me pull my calculator real quick. So I uh, will give you the exact numbers. Uh, let's do calculator. Okay, calculator. 
So one truck in average makes $25,000. So I'm a carrier, I know in average, they make, uh, my trucks make 25,000 uh, in average. So why average? Because there's a slow season and there's a peak season, right? Now, of course, winter is slow and summer is peak. 25,000 per truck. And dispatchers, they make gross, from the gross, okay? From the gross, from gross profit or from gross income. I would say income. If you, let's say you are a dispatcher and I'm a carrier and you are dispatching four of my trucks and uh, I'll, I'll just give you my four trucks and said, okay, um, just, you know, dispatch and manage uh, my trucks. $25,000 gross, right? Multiply by four, what we have, we have $100,000 gross. And now comes a tricky question. Okay, Kamal, what should I charge? What are my percentages? Should I charge per week, per month, or what should I do? Is it like per invoice? Guys, what I see and what I recommend, obviously, is by percentages, right? It's it's seven percent or eight percent is the I would say uh, market uh, average. So let's say in order to be a competitive, uh, you will be charging about seven percent, seven percent from the gross. So what is seven percent from a hundred thousand? Let's, let's just, you know, calculate 7% multiply by $100,000 in order to give you like a clear idea. Uh, it's about $7,000, right? $7,000 income. $7,000 income. And trust me, you can ask any carrier or if you know dispatchers, call them. They make about uh, this much if they uh, uh, dispatch, you know, four trucks. This is what happens. So another question comes in, you may ask, hey Kamal, well, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't have that ability to run a four trucks, but well, the maximum that I can recommend is like six or seven trucks, but you can do easily three to four trucks, not a problem. So now you're making money, right? So you generated, uh, you know, income, you are stable, and now you need to grow your business. Now you have to go above and beyond to you know grow your business. What do you do? You hire dispatchers. At the same time, you doing what? You are marketing, right? Remember in the slide, you are marketing your services, right? Marketing your services in order to get um, customers. Now you have, let's say, uh, three um, dispatchers in all the dispatchers or every dispatcher they have uh, dispatcher one that has four trucks or dispatches or manages four trucks and then second four and then third one is four total of how many uh, trucks so total of 12 trucks if you say come on i have to find 12 owner operators or 12 carriers or well the carrier carrier they may have like 40 trucks or 70 or hundreds or thousand trucks, right? So the carriers, they are huge. You know, I'm the smallest one. I have like four trucks, but the carriers that I have next door, they have 15 trucks. Another one has uh, 40 trucks. Another one has like uh, 68 trucks. Carriers, they need dispatchers help, okay? So now what happens? So you basically multiply you know, so if four trucks make uh, make hundred thousand, so basically this means hundred thousand k here, hundred thousand uh, k from this dispatcher, and then hundred thousand dollar from this uh, dispatcher. Total of three hundred thousand, right? Three hundred thousand dollars and three hundred thousand dollars. Let's calculate um, seven percent. What is seven percent? Um, seven percent of uh, multiply by three hundred thousand dollars. Right, what we have, we have about twenty-one thousand. So now your business makes twenty-one thousand dollar income. But how much you pay for the dispatchers? Now you have expenses. So twenty-one thousand. Right now it's it, it's monthly. Now you subtract sub, uh, subtracting. You pay about like three thousand dollar. Three thousand dollars. You know for each and we have about nine thousand um, dollars employee or dispatchers um, uh, dispatchers 
expense or employee expense, right? So we'll do minus 9,000 and we're left off with uh, 12,000. $12,000 per month. Your business making $12,000 per month, but of course you have insurance, utilities, uh, and of course uh, the office space. The office space can go about uh, $1,500 per month up to uh, $2,500 uh, dollars per month. So you decide, let's uh, take $2,500, right? $2,500. So from um, $12,000, you uh, substitute, let's say, twenty five thousand, uh, and you have, uh, let's see, nine thousand five hundred. So now your business making nine thousand and five hundred dollars. Of course, these numbers are just you know hypothetical numbers. I'm just giving you an example. It can be more. It can be less. Right? And think about this. What will be happening let's say if you add more uh i would say uh, dispatchers let's add them number four number five number six right so now your business making 600k easily with how many trucks 22 trucks right with 22 trucks with 22 trucks and now you have a 600,000 k uh you're taking seven percent Multiply by six hundred dollars, a six hundred thousand dollars, and you have about forty-two thousand. Now you have forty-two thousand per month, right? And what happens? Three multiply by six, we have eighteen. Now we uh, let's say minus eighteen thousand, right? What we have we do minus eighteen thousand. It's employee expense. You left off with twenty-four thousand per month, right, 24,000, and you uh, minus what? You have office expense, utility expenses, right? And you do that and what's left is yours. This is what I recommend doing it, right? Learn the skill, right? And then work from home, then build your business and you can call it whatever you want, but this is the business, this is the ultimate goal of my teachings so that it that I can change people's lives. Guys, if you wanted to learn about me, go ahead and, you know, uh, I have a free training. I explain who I am, what are the business apps that I'm running, and I give you the free training. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this um, video series. If you want me to, you know, give you more information about this, uh, you know, uh, tracking industry, just let me know, and then we'll go from there. Thank you, for, thank you for your time, and I highly appreciate uh, your interest in, you know, becoming uh, a track dispatcher. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, and see you later.